Here are the three most godlike solo queue champions for every single role in 12.15. If played to their potential, these are the picks who hold the greatest solo carry power of the patch. But before we get into it, be sure to check out Skillcapped if you want to truly get better at League of Legends. We're the only service that offers a money back guarantee if you don't climb at least five divisions while actively using our service. We do this because our service really does work, and if it doesn't work for you, you shouldn't pay. Learn more at the end of this video or click the link in the description below. The 12.14 Aatrox changes were listed as adjustments, but they were extremely net positive. Adding free base stats to champions are buffs often overlooked, and the added health from Aatrox has been great. This change combined with Eclipse seeing buffs a few patches back has allowed Aatrox to push past most of the top lane competition. The more popular Eclipse becomes, the higher Aatrox's win rate rises, as the item is extremely strong for solo queue. 46% of players still run Gore Drinkers, so if you haven't tried Eclipse yet, then definitely look to do so. The core build is ridiculously potent as you run Eclipse into Black Cleaver and Cyrilda's Grudge. Insane amounts of armor penetration in this setup, which has become more optimal post durability update. There are many good options in regards to Aatrox's ban, but with Fiora being played a ton and the matchup giving most Aatrox players issues, she's one of the better choices. Nothing beats Conqueror for Aatrox's Keystone, followed by Triumph, Tenacity, and Last Stand. For secondaries, dip in to Resolve and pick up Second Wind with Revitalize. After making his way into our top 3 last patch, Shen locks down a solo carry spot once again. Absolutely amazing indirect changes in 12.14 that helped Shen a ton. With how strong dragons are now, you really can't be handing them over, so with Shen being able to turn a 4v4 into a 5v4 in an instant, he provides so much value. While the enemy top laner runs Ignite and is stuck on an island, you can help your team secure every dragon and play for a sole win condition. Matchups are pretty good for Shen right now, especially with GP and Narn nerf the last patch. However, with Darius being played a lot and it being a more volatile matchup, he's a good ban. The core build for Shen is a Frostfire Rush into Titanic Hydra 2nd and Thornmail 3rd. Rune Page is Grasp with Shield Bash, 2nd Wind, and Revitalize. Cheap Shot and Ultimate Hunter are for secondaries. One of the best pure solo carry top laners right now, who continues to dominate each patch, is Darius. Darius is loving the way the meta has shifted post 12.14, as less sustain means more windows of opportunity for solo kills. With dragons buffed, you either have to roam effectively or smash lane to be impactful as a top laner right now, and Darius can do the latter. After you've won lane, being able to transition that lead and help your team secure those dragons is very key. Quinn or Wukong are two good ban options for Darius, as he doesn't like the ranged kiting power of Quinn and hates the mobility and armor stacking of Wukong. For the build, rush Trinity Force for most games. However, if you need extra sticking power for ranged or mobile comps, then Stridebreaker is great as well. Death's Dance slots in second, and then Dead Man's or Force of Nature third. Conqueror is the keystone with Triumph, Alacrity, and Last Stand. Now that Resolve has been nerfed, look to try out Sorcery Secondary, running Nimbus Cloak and Celerity. The queen of the jungle for solo queue in 12.15 is Diana. Despite Riot's attempts to dethrone Diana in 12.14 with the Sunfire nerfs, she has held up extremely well. Your ability to consistently impact games with Diana has only become stronger as more fighting around Dragon is what Diana wants. The hybrid setup of Nashers into Sunfire and Demonic Embrace is what we've come to know as Diana's most optimal build, but a variation to the setup has been emerging as of recent. The highest win percentage build right now is actually full tank with Sunfire Rush into Demonic Embrace 2nd and Thor male third. With full tank, you have the luxury to play way more aggressively and exploit the enemy's mispositioning, which is great for solo queue. For runes, grab Conqueror with Triumph, Alacrity, and Coup de Gras. Magical Footwear and Cosmic Insight are the best secondaries. Very much like Aatrox, the recent cane changes that were listed as adjustments have been super positive. The flat out bonus health gain has outweighed the heal nerf and has put Kane in a really nice spot. Ever since the durability update, Red Kane has become so much stronger as he's one of the best skirmishing champions in the game. With Kane's high mobility, it allows him to maneuver around objectives super well, which is even better value due to dragons being buffed. A highly underrated build to try on Kane is the same one leading to insane results for Aatrox, being Eclipse into Black Cleaver and Death Stance. Really nice build because you have the early to mid game snowball power of Eclipse, but then transition into more durable items for team fights. This isn't to say the Gore Drinker is weak though, as it's still the rush item most Kane players prefer. With First Strike nerfed this patch, the priority on Conqueror goes back up. Inspiration works great for secondaries with Free Boots and Cosmic Insight. Other than Diana, the best AP jungler you can play for solo queue is Fiddlesticks. 
Fid has been a criminally underrated jungler for a long time, but his play rate and win rate has shot up really nice due to the recent buffs. Strong teamfight champions saw an indirect power boost as a result of the dragon buffs, and Fiddle is most definitely one of them. With focus on objective timers and using your ultimate to find picks, Fiddle Sticks can offer some of the best solo carry power of any jungler. The build is a Rocket Belt Rush followed by Zhanya 2nd and Shadow Flame or Void Staff 3rd. First Strike nerf means Electrocute Priority rises back up for 12.15. For secondaries, go into Inspiration, running Perfect Timing and Cosmic Insight. Moving on to our mid lane top 3, making her way back in for the first time in a while is Vex. Vex Q was recently buffed in 12.13 and with how the mid lane meta is shaping out right now, she's a highly effective pick. Looking at Vex's most common matchups, we see Yasuo, Yone, Silas, Katarina, Akali, and LeBlanc, all champions that she absolutely destroys. All these champions have high mobility, and thanks to Vex's passive, she shuts them down super well. Vex currently has a positive solo Q win rate into 9 of her 10 most common matchups, which isn't something you see very often. Longer range control mages are the ones who can give Vex the most issues, so with Victor being played at a very high rate, he's a good ban. Key thing to note for your starting item is that Doran's Ring is now more optimal than Corrupting Potion as a result of the Corrupting nerfs. For the core build, rush Aludens into Shadow Flame second and Zhanya's third. Take Electrocute as the keystone with Cheap Shot, Eyeball Collector, and Ultimate Hunter. Inspiration nerfs have given more strength to Sorcery Secondary with Mana Flow and Scorch. Our second solo carry mid of the patch is going to be Silas. Silas has seen a giant spike in power over the past few patches due to many indirect buffs. As one of the strongest skirmishing mids who thrives in extended fights, Silas has excelled post durability update. Not only has the effectiveness of Grievous Wounds become weaker, but less players are building it as a result, which is super nice for Silas. Vex, with her ability to disrupt your engage pattern, is a really good ban right now. The standard core build is Everfrost into Zhanya 2nd and Cosmic Drive 3rd. Pretty much every single AP Mythic is viable for Silas though, as pros like Showmaker have been running Crown of the Shattered Queen in solo queue. For runes, grab Conquer with Presence of Mind, Tenacity, and Last Stand. Secondaries are Second Wind and Unflinching. With nerfs to Kiana and to Leah for 12.15, Victor moves back into the top 3 for mid. Victor has been one of the most consistent solo queue mages for a while now. A decent amount of players are still running Corruption Potion on Vic, but with the nerfs, Doran's is more optimal. In easy lanes, you can even run Mana Crystal's start to hit a very quick Lost Chapter buy. Zed or Silas are two of the better bans for Victor. The build consists of Aludin's Rush into Shadow Flame or Lich Bane's second, and Zhanya's or Rabadon's third. Now that First Strike is nerfed, Aerie will become a better option in matchups you have an early kill threat. Scorch was just buffed too, while Biscuits and Time Warp received nerfs, which has made Inspiration primary less attractive. Draven has become a phenomenal bot lane carry due to recent changes and joins the top 3 for 12.15. Resolve Tree nerfs, Potions and Biscuit nerfs, Exhaust nerfs, and Enchanter nerfs have been extremely positive for Draven. All these changes lead to more windows of opportunity for Draven to snowball the early game, which is exactly what he wants. Draven is one of the few ADCs who runs the Lethality Mythic, so the buffs from a few patches back were great as well. The trickle down effect has also allowed Draven to move up in power as we have seen so many ADCs nerfed while Draven has been left untouched. The optimal core build is an Essence Reaver Rush into Eclipse Second and Lord Dominix or the Collector Third. Grab Lethal Tempo as the keystone with Triumph, Bloodline, and Last Stand. Eyeball Collector and Treasure Hunter are great for secondaries. Another amazing solo carry ADC who's become much stronger after the 12.14 changes is Samira. As an ADC who excels when up close and looking for all in plays, Samira was indirectly buffed with the sustain nerfs. Things are slowly starting to shift in favor of more aggressive ADCs as Thresh and Leona are buffed in 12.15, while we just saw Enchanter items nerfed in 12.14. In previous patches, the Longsword with 3 potion start was as good if not better than Doran's Blade, but that's no longer the case. Potions being nerfed has given priority back to Doran's Blade, so if you're still running Longsword's start, look to swap over. The core build for Samira is Immortal Shield Bow Rush into the Collector 2nd and Infinity Edge 3rd. Pick up Conqueror as the Keystone with Triumph, Bloodline, and Last Stand. Eyeball Collector and Treasure Hunter are optimal secondary runes. Despite the 12.15 nerfs, Sivir is going to be our third solo carry ADC of the patch. Sivir won't be the number one ADC anymore, but that doesn't mean she won't remain stronger than most. Sivir is such a potent ADC for the current meta where team fighting has become way more vital. Being able to buff your team up around dragon fights is huge for helping your team secure dragons. With the cooldown of Sivir's ultimate and E increase this patch, don't sleep on Essence Reaver as a second pickup. 
ER already performs very well on Sivir, and the ability haste it provides will alleviate the nerfs. A sample core build is Kraken Slayer Rush into Essence Reaver 2nd and Infinity Edge 3rd. Lethal Tempo is the best keystone, with Presence of Mind, Bloodline, and Cut Down. Grab Free Boots and Biscuits for secondaries. A ton of Protector supports were hit by the recent item nerfs, but one of the few who wasn't is Zillion. Zillion is one of the best ranged supports you can play for 12.15. With Sivir being played in over 20% of games, the combo with Zillion has a disgustingly strong team fight. That extra life you're able to provide with ultimate is a game changer in fights around objectives. Zill ult also allows for dive champions to be way more aggressive, so he's incredibly strong if paired with a meta jungler like Diana. The build for Zillion is a Shirelia's Rush into Zanya's second and Wardstone third. Run Aerie as a keystone with Mana Flow, Transcendence, and Water Walking. Cheap Shot and Relentless Hunter are the best secondary runes. Amumu cracks the top three for yet another patch as he's an amazing solo carry support. Amumu is some of the best all in power with his two Q charges, so sustained nerfs last patch have been massive for him. With more aggro ADCs like Draven, Samira, and Neela being played, it's great if you're looking to main Amumu. Amumu paired with Draven or Samira wins over 54% of the time right now, which is pretty nuts. The AoE lockdown from Ultimate is so powerful, especially with fighting around Dragon being key. Even Shroud is the rush item, followed by Zhonya's second and Frozen Heart third. Aftershock is the keystone with Font of Life, Bone Plating, and Unflinching. Secondaries include Cheap Shot and Ultimate Hunter. Tarek is an absolute monster of a pick right now and is our final solo carry of the patch. If you want some free wins, then play Tarek with Samira, Neela, Draven, Sivir, or Kalista. Any strong skirmishing ADC paired with Tarek is a near auto win right now. Ever since Tarek had his mana cost on Q lowered, he's been dominating solo queue. Being able to spam Q out in 2v2s will have you winning extended fights extremely easily. Throwing E on someone like Samira who can dive right in is insanely broken as well. When team fights start to break out around dragons, Tarek has massive impact with his ultimate. The core Tarek build is a locket rush into Winter's Approach 2nd and Frozen Heart 3rd. Lots of mana here to help with the Q spam. Since Guardian was nerfed, Glacial Augment becomes a little stronger as Tarek's keystone. Guardian is still fine if you're in a more difficult matchup, but Glacial is what you want to run for most games. Alright guys, before we wrap this up, let's tell you a little more about skill cap. So, we offer a 5 division rank up guarantee and think that's a pretty crazy thing to offer. It's like a gym membership guaranteeing you'll get ripped. Your local gym would go bust if they offered that, right? Not us. We've offered this for years because our service really does work. It works so well, in fact, that we're able to produce by far the largest catalog of premium league guides on the internet. We add over 20 videos a week. With over 1,600 guides curated into over 100 courses, no one can compare. We've also sent challenger players into ELO Hell 714 times and counting, where they commentate how to carry live. They also respond to all questions asked. Sign up today for as little as $6.99 a month if you are serious about improving. So there are the best solo carries for each role in patch 12.15. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.